so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Do you know what creativity is? It's when you use your imagination to make anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mission control. I'm ready to explore. Whoa, smooth landing. <laughs> Did you see? I was a rocket ship. <laughs> hey, look at these cool blocks. They're so colorful. Oh, and they feel soft. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? This is a rectangle. See, there's two short sides and two long sides. Yeah, do you know what color it is? Green, that's right. And look at all the little circles. Ah, huh, these are really cool. Ooh, one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Hey, what if we built a rocket ship out of these blocks? All right, let's do it. Maybe this one and this one. Mm hmm And we need some wings. Which block would make a good wing? <gasps> this one. And maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe some yellow on the top. Yellow, it's nice and bright. This way, space knows we're coming. <laughs> and then maybe this. Whoa. Yes. It's time to launch this rocket ship into space. Count down with me from 10, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <gasps> We've landed in space. There's no gravity. This is why I'm walking like this. Floating because I'm astronaut Mika. Whoa. One small step for inspiration. One giant leap for creativity. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these moon rocks. We have to hop over them. Will you hop with me? Okay. Nice hopping. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. There's more to create. Let's go! Creativity installed. Whoa! It says launch it. You must be able to launch things here. Huh. <gasps> this is a vertical wind tunnel. Yeah, this wind down here forces things to go up through the tunnel. This is a great way to test gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It's the force that pulls everything on Earth to the ground. It's also what keeps the planets orbiting the sun. Without gravity, they would just be floating around in space, like, like this. Whoa! Whoa! Where's gravity? <laughs> hey, looks like there's some items here that we could test to see which ones will float up through the tunnel. It's time for sink or fly. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look. There's some leaves and flowers. They look really light. Do you think that they'll float up through the tunnel? Only one way to find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. I went all the way up out of the tunnel and here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I caught it. I'm gonna see if it'll go up again. Okay. Ready? Goodbye, little leaf. Whoa, that's so cool. What else is in here? Oh. Look at the squishy ball. <laughs> I wonder if this will float up the tunnel. What do you think? It's a little heavier than the leaf. All right, let's try. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. 
Oh, look, there's some cotton balls here. See, they're green and soft. They also feel pretty light. Should we try? Maybe we can drag both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. It didn't fly up, but did you see it twirling around? Let's try again. Whoa, nope. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like my bow. Twins. <laughs> this is pretty light too. Do you think it's gonna go up the tunnel? Let's try. <gasps> oh, just went up a little bit. Let's try it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was so cool. What about this? Ooh, this is so pretty. This piece of fabric, yeah. It looks light and floaty. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Can I catch it? Got it, that was a fun one. I wanna do it again. Whoa. Three, two, one. Blast off! Wow, so it seems like the items that are really light go straight up out of the tunnel. And then the items that are kind of heavy stay towards the bottom or they don't float at all. What about this streamer? You might see this at a birthday party as a decoration, but have you seen a streamer in a vertical wind tunnel? Woo! Ready, set, go! Whoa! Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Got it. <laughs> Gravity is so awesome. Should we pretend to walk like there's no gravity? Okay, let's go. Whoa. 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 There's no gravity. <laughs> huh. I wonder what's going on with this wall. I see some tubes and pipes and this looks like a track and, oh, oh, look, there's a magnet on the side and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic. Cool. I have a great idea. Let's make a comet run. Do you know what a comet is? It's made of frozen space dust and rock and ice and the closer it is to the sun, the faster it travels because of gravity. So, we could say that this ball is the sun. Ooh, so hot, it's hot. Okay, sun, you stay there. And now, I need to make a comet run. So I'm gonna move some of these pieces so that the ball can travel towards the sun. So let's see, maybe this down like this. What do you think? All right, now, which ball should be the comet? <gasps> what about this one? One of my favorite colors, purple. Okay, do you wanna be the comet? Great. Okay, you got this. You have to travel so fast towards the sun. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Go! Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing! Did you see how fast it traveled? Let's try another one. Maybe this yellow one. One of my other favorite colors. <laughs> okay. Focus on the sun and travel as fast as you can. You got this. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that one fell off. Maybe we should try the purple one again. All right. There's the sun. Travel so, so fast. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, that was amazing. 
This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out with me. Hey, let's go explore some more. Whoa, they even have a space up on the rooftop outside where you can be creative. Look at all of this art. <laughs> Whoa, these are doors. Hello? <laughs> they painted them. Oh, look, a little green squiggly line and someone painted a heart. Oh, cool. Whoa, this structure kind of reminds me of a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Hey, they have a smock. That means that I could paint something. Yeah, it's good to wear a smock. Then you can protect your clothes from the paint. <laughs> I'm feeling so inspired. What should I paint? Maybe something in space? I will paint. <sighs> Maybe you can guess. Do you know what planet we live on? <laughs> yeah, Earth. So I'm going to use, you know this color? Blue, yeah, blue, like the sky, the ocean. Whoa, I'll make a big circle for our planet Earth. Round and around and around. So there's so much water on Earth and there's a lot of land. So maybe I'll use green too. Here's green right here. See green like trees or like a delicious avocado. <laughs> we'll put some green on here too. Oh, okay, there's earth. And then I think I'm gonna paint some white stars too. Hey, did you know that there's over 100 billion stars in our galaxy? and that our galaxy is called the Milky Way. <laughs> we'll just do some stars like this all over. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> wow, well, I'll let that dry for now. <laughs> I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. We got so inspired and we used our creativity and our imagination. Remember when we learned about comets and how they're made of frozen space dust? <laughs> I think that's so neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <gasps> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made, and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> all guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. Oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Huh, that's cool. Wow. These are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or 
Whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool, a circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one. The medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes. Number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie for my best friend? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple, and yellow, oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller, easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that, okay. So we have these lines here, and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did good. thank you. All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth, <laughs> come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this Super smooth, time to sand. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look oh. at your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry. Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool! It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. <laughs> so now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. When I did it! <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. 
Yellow there. White end. Dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see. My headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each down towards you? So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. Pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the green. Yes. So we want to go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks, Whoop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Well, it's 
put this one right here, okay? You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. me, Mika, and today I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi Mika, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I wanna add some things to my outfit. Great, so the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great, so let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks, see you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa. Look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? <gasps> Crowns, oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so. We should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then, based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea! Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh, yeah. 
Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes? All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, what else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. Little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay. That. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there. Blue and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome. And oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika! Woo! Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And, hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. Hmm, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue 
And I'll use this black to draw the strap. And then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top. And blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And oh, I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, let's see eyes and nose and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the materials that we oh. will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh, I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that <laughs> looks kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm. There are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? What there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're going to call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. So close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like 
this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread and I'm gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole and then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay. And then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Hi. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay. I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out, the letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is, you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <gasps> Come on. Wow. There are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist, come on. Hey, I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies, though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa. Look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You want to count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a 
sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. I'm throwing some extra. Okay. Whoa! There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and kind of shapes are over here. <gasps> a sunshine! My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there and just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller? That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> Uh, get this beautiful blue sky. Oh 
Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. More blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah! Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see, this will brighten it up. Cause it's so dark it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay, it's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right, what should I name this person? Hmm, I think I'm gonna name him George! George, where do you want to go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you want to cool off. And, oh, my sunshine! To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. 
I need a small paintbrush. Like this one! Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there. And then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay, and then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. Details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah, all right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun, thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> That was so fun! Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place! I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool! And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye! Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about.